Hey, what's up everybody? It's Robert184 from Gundam.tk and I'm back with Gundam Daily to wrap up all the big news from the Shizuoka Hobby Show. So as you can see here, the show just wrapped up and it ran from Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday and there was lots of big news, some of it surprising and some of it not at all. So let's get straight to it. Tons of news available all over the web, including on Ni Kyong for all sorts of English news. And as the days went on, over time you were getting more and more information and including prices. So, so far we have a finalized list and I was sort of hoping we'd get a surprise on Sunday, which is why I put off making the video, but sadly, it never happened. But on the other hand, here's what we are going to get. First of all, something not too exciting that I probably won't buy is we're going to get a high-grade Universal Century Jim Kai, and that's going to come out in August for 1260 yen. But here's the big ones for me. There's four of them you'll notice here, and it's from the Double O movie. Most important for me is we're getting a new lead Gundam, in this case, the Double O Quanta, and that's in high-grade 144th, and that's going to come out in August for 1680 yen. And following up in September, we're going to be getting the Harut, and we're going to be getting the Raphael Gundam. So those are all going to look pretty good. And the first two are going to be 1,680 yen, and then the later ones, the Harut and the Raphael, are much bigger Gundams. So more plastic, bigger price, 1,890 yen and 2,100 yen, respectively. But the biggest news, literally, and if you've seen a picture of this kit, it is a monster. We're going to be getting a master grade of the O, the Climax villain from Zeta Gundam. And it's going to be coming out this summer. They didn't specify which month, but take a look at that price because that's huge. Um, it's going to be 12,600 yen, which is going to put it up there right at the top of most expensive master grades. But then again, I can't wait to see what kind of engineering goes in on the inside because I think they've got the shape and the form just right so far. Fans of Unicorn are also going to be very happy with uh, to coincide with the second episode coming out. We're going to be getting a 144th high grade Universal Century Shinanju. We're also going to be getting the Delta Plus and they haven't announced the price or what month they're coming out. And finally we're getting a Girazulu remake. In this case it's the Angelo Custom which looks pretty cool with the huge propellant tanks on the back. And wrapping up with something a little bit confusing, we're going to be getting a 144th beginning Gundam. And uh, it's sort of unclear as to what that is, or I haven't seen it wrapped down, but I'm sure we're going to be getting more information from Bandai about that. No other information released. And finally, we're going to be getting, after the real grade RX-78-2 Gundam, we're also going to be getting the Char Custom Zaku-2 which is fantastic and uh, it leads it leads me to believe that this real grade line could be kicking off but then again remember they always do put out a Gundam followed by the two Zakus whenever they make anything well Bandai anyway now the other big news to come out of this show was that they released the results of your most wanted master grade models and uh, no surprise from they released an interim top five and uh, of course these three were all on it but the order was a little bit surprising coming in at first place the V2 Gundam was everybody's most wanted master grade followed up by the O and so the O has all they already showed the prototype there and that's going to be on sale this summer which means that despite the results of this survey it's something that they had planned on releasing anyway but finally, in number three, good news for recent fans, we're going to be getting a double O riser. Now, there's no information exactly yet, but the fact that it's made the top three, there's no way that they would be able to ignore these kits coming out. So no word about uh, whether the DX or the Turn X finished in the top five. But anyway, I'm sure Bandai is going to use this survey in a lot of ways when they're determining what kind of order they release it. And of course... What I'm hoping, and I'm sure you are too, is that we get all 30 of those Master Grade kits. And, well, of course, they can dump the Unicorn ones as far as I'm concerned. But anyway, there's about 24 other ones on there that are really appealing. And one other little bit of information is they have been running surveys in the hobby magazine. So we've got Hobby Japan and Dengeki Hobby. And they've been running, what is your favorite Master Grades that have already been made? So Hobby Japan is very, very uh, traditional, and I have to agree, Master Grade Gundam version 2.0, they have the Zaku version 2.0, and then they have the Zeta Gundam version 2.0. Little bit of surprise from the Dengeki Hobby side, with the Master Grade G Gundam coming in first place, which I was a little bit surprised about. It's a good model, but there's been a lot of things that have come out that have been a little bit better since. 
Um, Shars Custom Zaku 2 comes in in second place, and the Akai comes in third. And that's no surprise considering, A, it's a decent kit, considering how popular the character is. So I've included the links on this webpage here, and they have tons of photos that you can go take a peek at, and they show off lots more stuff than just the Gundams are on here. So anyway, everybody, let me know what you think. Are you disappointed? I've got to tell you, my big disappointment is just in the fact that they are only releasing 144th double o movie kits and of course i was really hoping for one one hundredth mostly of the quanta i don't i would probably buy the other ones but i i won't lose any sleep about not getting them but it looks like we're gonna have to wait for the master grade for that to come out and that could be years before that lead takes its proper place on my shelf but outside of that i have to say i was pretty happy with the show it's sort of cool to see that they're giving old school fans what they're wanting in terms of the o and especially with that kind of price they obviously have some confidence that it's going to sell. But again, something that I'll have to talk about another time, this double O movie doesn't seem to be getting the kind of push that something like Endless Waltz or something like that did, because there was a lot more kits from that movie. And so we may be surprised later, but things don't look good based on the fact that they only gave us the four. So lots of news and lots of cool things to look forward to. So anyway, stay tuned, because I'll have lots more reviews, including reviews of a lot of the kits that you've seen just uh, here in this video. Don't forget to check out the links in the description and stay tuned for lots more reviews and Gundam Daily. As always, let me know with a comment what you think of the video. Thanks for watching everybody. See you next time.